Hey, what is up guys? It's the Michigan Minecrafter back here with another video and today me and Aiden are back on Phoenix Craft where he is eating a lot of chicken. How was your hunger bar all the way down? Jeez Louise. He's been doing that since before I even started recording. Oh, you're not eating it. All. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, oh my gosh. But um Basically, what we're doing on here today is working on some more projects. If you remember last time, we worked on the underground farm, which is down in the basement of Aiden's house here, which we're standing on top of. And actually, we also worked on Aiden's house, which we're standing on top of. And then um, we did all sorts of different stuff, and we already gave you the tour of that. But like I said, we're going to be starting some new projects today. So let's go get an introduction to that. So first of all, before the sun sets, let's talk about the outdoor project. Um, over here, me and Aiden are actually planning on doing an underground harbor, which means that we're going to dig out this whole cave and um, basically put water into it, and then we're going to have like docks that are underground. But we're still going to leave it looking like a cave from the outside so that it's not, like, suspicious or anything. Aiden agrees. Um, and then, yeah. So that'll be pretty cool. We won't have to just have boats sitting around outside anymore, um, which will be really, really nice. And then, let's see. Let's go inside the house and talk about the other thing that we're going to be working on. I'll probably be mostly working on the harbor, and I think... Aiden will probably be working on this other project. So if we go all the way down in Aiden's basement, which will take a little while because we got this big, huge staircase leading down to the stables. But um, the other project that we're work going to work on is kind of a small one, uh, nothing too significant. But basically, we're going to take these really annoying chickens right here that you literally pick up like five stacks of eggs just by walking next to. Like, let's see how much we got. Oh, just one that time. That's rare. But, yeah, so we're going to take these chickens, and we're actually going to move them upstairs. So we're going to move them up here into the loft, where we're going to have, like, water underneath them. And then right here, through this back corner of the stables, um, we're going to dig a tunnel with water going through it that leads to our... Um, little water collection area in here which as you might know from the last episode has a couple of hoppers down here which lead into a chest and that just carries all of the stuff from the farm down into our little collection chest so that is what we're planning on doing with the chickens and that might be Aiden's next project and then the other part, which is going to be a very big project, it probably won't get finished by the end of this video, but I guess we'll see. Um, the other big project that we're going to work on is digging a tunnel that I think, I think we decided is going to go across the water in front of Aiden's house. It's going to go underground, um, and then it's basically going to go into this roof forest over there, which I know you can't see because it's super dark. But uh, it's going to go back through that wooded, uh, that roofed forest over there. And then we're going to finally start building some stuff above the ground in sort of a little secondary base over there. Because over here, we have to be kind of secretive with the way that our base is set up. Um, like, for example, you can't really see Aiden's, the front of Aiden's base from the entrance to the bay over there. Um, and then my base. Well, you can see the dock, but it looks mostly natural, like with the little mushroom and the trees and stuff. And then we've less, left the majority of this uh, shoreline looking completely natural, so it doesn't set off any red flags with anybody who might show up if we end up doing like a Phoenix Craft survival game sort of thing, which I think, uh, rumor has it, we might end up doing that. So yeah, that is kind of the plan for today. So I guess I'm going to go get started on digging out the cave for the harbor. Probably go to sleep first. Um, and then Aiden, if you want to go get started on making that chicken uh, pen thing, then we can go get started on everything. All right, guys. So I am back. It's been a couple of days since me and Aiden filmed our little intro to this episode. 
but we did get quite a few things done and actually let me just go in and change my shader settings real quick because I did realize uh, after watching that um, not that one after watching that that intro I realized that things were a little laggy which I was not so happy about but this should help out so there we go um, but yeah so me and Aiden actually got quite a bit done but um, so I think the two things that we talked about doing were the uh, the underground harbor which turned out amazing and then we also talked about making Aiden's um, chicken farm modified underground and then we also talked about building a uh, a tunnel that leads to like an above ground city type of thing um, far away from the base unfortunately we didn't get to that part that is gonna be a pretty big project so we're gonna end up doing that later but in the meantime the first thing I actually want to show you guys is Aiden's chicken farm and then we'll save the harbor for the last since I would probably consider that to be the best part so let me get down there real quick Alright guys, so I am down in the basement of Aiden's house, as you can see. This was the pen that the chickens used to be in. Now that's just an empty one, and what are you doing out here? Okay, not sure how he got out, but I will leave him for Aiden's problem, I guess. But uh, Aiden actually found some rabbits off in the distance somewhere, I guess, that he's going to bring here. So that'll be pretty exciting for next episode, but in the meantime this is what we have built for the chicken farm so basically what this allows us to do is um, collect all of the eggs that go down this path of water and that's why they're floating in this stream right now and let's see are there any eggs coming down yet no unfortunately not but um, basically what this allows us to do is collect all the eggs into one place which all those chickens are giving me some serious frame lag so let's get out of there um, and then all of those eggs actually flow down through here underneath the floor and then over into our little collection area which I showed you after last episode and let's see how many eggs we got three stacks or four four and a half stacks four and a quarter stacks technically but pretty good so let's go and actually use these up right now. I've been getting some frame lag lately. I think, um, I don't know if that's because of the shaders or something I changed about the OBS settings, but I'm going to try and get that fixed before the next video I film on Minecraft. But um, let's get this done real quick. Got a couple new baby chickens. Yep. Oh no, I hate it when that happens. It's always a shame when they get stuck in the wall. And then just like that. Alright, so got a couple new baby chickens. So that is all set. We'll probably have even more stacks of eggs by the time I'm done filming this video. But yeah, they definitely... Oh, I think I just heard one get, uh, get spawned in. But yeah, so then um, the other thing that I mentioned that we worked on was the underground harbor which as I said I was saving the best for last which it is definitely pretty awesome oh I forgot about this too actually let's go over this real quick because this is pretty cool so basically um, you saw down there with the the chicken enclosure that I dug some pipes through the wall with water running through them well I went a little bit crazy doing that kind of stuff there is a lot of plumbing in this house now so basically what happens now is um, if there's items I don't want, like maybe some dirt, I can throw them into either of the fountains and it takes it through a water pipe all the way down to here, which it takes a little bit for it to get there, but um, yeah, and then all this water, not water, all this lava that's flowing down collects in the bottom of this little area and disintegrates anything that comes out of the pipe and there it goes. So yeah, this is like our little uh, trash area now that we made to be very convenient so we're not just throwing things on the floor anymore, even though we probably could just do that and it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But you know what? We want to be fancy, all right? We want to have 
all sorts of pipes and stuff going through our house. But then this is the crown jewel of all of the things that we did over this past week. It's definitely one of my favorite things that I've ever built. And you might notice um, that it has this hole in the ceiling over here, which was not intended originally. Um, I had originally meant for this just to be like an enclosed room with like the pillars and stuff. And then you park the boats in between the pillars and then you're all set. Um, and then it's just like a nice little storage area for boats. But then when I was digging the room out, um, a bunch of gravel collapsed that led up to the surface of the mountain. And it just made this like perfect little light thing going on. It doesn't even look as good when I'm zoomed in. It looks better from far away. But yeah, it just looks absolutely amazing. And um, if we stick around here for a little bit, it looks even better when the sun is actually shining directly through that hole into the water. But yeah, pretty cool stuff. I was very happy about how this turned out. Like, if you guys... I don't know if anybody is as big of nerds as I am, but back in the day, in like 2013, uh, when I first started playing Minecraft, I liked to go to this website called Minecraft Gallery, where they had all sorts of cool screenshots from people who could actually um, play full-time with shaders because they had good enough computers and stuff. And this was the kind of stuff that they took pictures of and that I just absolutely fangirled over. So, yeah, very happy with how this turned out. And yeah, so actually, if I hop in a boat right now, come on, there we go. <laughs> if I hop in a boat and go outside, um, I don't know if I've mentioned this in videos before, but I've definitely mentioned it to Aiden a lot of times, um, which is that kind of one of the goals that we've worked towards in Phoenix Craft and in Tribes and a bunch of different survival series is to kind of make things look as natural as possible and um, not be too obvious um, as far as like our buildings and stuff go just because that it looks better and it gives us an advantage if we ever do like a survival games and stuff because things are more hidden but um, like you can't even see any of the pillars from up here which I thought was just absolutely amazing because originally I thought I was gonna have to fill this in but as it turns out, it actually blends in pretty well. So yeah, that's pretty much it as far as new updates go. On that note, definitely be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe. And I will see all of you guys in the next video.